Hey everyone, in this video we are diving into how to install games and launchers outside of Steam such as the Epic Game Store and Battle.net. So we will also test gaming performance on both Windows and Bazite OS. Hey, if you're new here, we've got a video on installing Bazite on your desktop. So make sure you check that out. Before we start, we'll later test performance using the AMD Ryzen 5 8500G's integrated graphics. Graphics. You'll see a side-by-side -side comparison with Windows 11. Let's get started. First, switch to desktop mode by clicking the power button and selecting switch to desktop mode. By the way, this is tested with the KDE desktop version ISO, not with Genome. For installing Epic Games Launcher through Lutris, open the Lutris app from the taskbar. From the Lutris menu, select Add Games. Choose Search the Lutris website for installers. In the search bar, type Epic Games, then select Epic Game Store from the list. Click Install, then proceed with Continue and follow the installation prompts. Once the launcher is installed, click the Launch button. That's it. Your Epic Games launcher is ready to use. In the future, you can use the same procedure to install other game launchers like Battle.net or Rockstar Games Launcher to enjoy games such as Warzone and GTA 6. For installing non-Steam Windows games using Lutris, go to the Lutris menu and select Add Games. Choose Install a Windows game from an executable on the next screen Enter the name of the game. Click install twice to proceed. Browse and select the setup file of the game you want to install. For this example, we are installing Furmark, a benchmarking utility for stress testing graphics card designed for Windows. Click install and complete the generic setup process. Once installed, your Windows application will be ready to run. You can follow this method to install and play any Windows game on Lutris. So now you know how to install games on Bazite. Now let's dive into our gaming test. We used identical settings for Counter-Strike 2 on both operating systems. However, certain features like AMD Anti-Lag were missing from the Steam settings on Bazite OS. While CS2 performed relatively similar on both platforms, Bazite OS experienced slight latency and occasional lag issues. In contrast, the game ran flawlessly on Windows 11 delivering a smooth and issue-free experience. These issues may be resolved over time with the release of newer version of Bazite OS. Using an AMD Radeon integrated graphics card, we tested the Black Myth Wukong benchmark at the lowest settings. The Bazite Steam OS underperformed compared to Windows 11 with subpar graphics quality. Additionally, the frame generation feature provided by the game developers within the settings had no effect on Bazite OS. This was primarily due to the absence of AMD's Adrenaline software on Bazite OS. In Elden Ring, similar settings were used on both operating systems, with slightly higher settings applied on Windows 11. Performance was comparable across both platforms. However, thanks to AMD's Adrenaline software, Windows 11 delivered better graphics quality. Additionally, the AMD frame generation feature delivered a significantly 
smoother experience on Windows 11 compared to Bazite SteamOS. So here's my take. As a newer OS, there's room for improvement. GPU makers like AMD and Nvidia should develop Linux software for features like FSR and frame generation. With gaming growing on Linux, hopefully big companies like Adobe will follow with productivity tools. That's it for now. Subscribe and see you next time.